my god! We got there in the end. It's a bit noisy. It only took it's like 45 minutes to get to that point <laughs> this morning. I need more coffee. You need more coffee. Oh, and oh, sleep. Oh, hey. And uh, other things, other stimulants. And tests, math tests. And math tests. Yes! That's what you need. Pete. Welcome back. <laughs> <laughs> so another episode. I feel like this is just, I've been saying this the last... Since last week and today, I must have said, hello, welcome to Anderson's TV, about, I think, maybe 40 times. times. 40 times? 45 times. Wow. It must be around that. Well, it makes a change from yesterday. going, uh, hey, welcome to Babe Station. <laughs> yeah. Or whatever. Well, they... I have to do that in the evening just to make ends <laughs> to meet. to make ends meet. You know, I've got three girls that have to be married at some point. Oh, gosh. Right. Hopefully, I can share with the other dad because the, uh, you know, anyway. Epiphone 2020. <laughs> hashtag Epiphone 2020 in hashtag. the immortal words of Mark Agnese. More than words. Uh, he promised that Epiphone were going to do something cool in 2020, and boy, have they done so. No, they absolutely um, delivered. We, uh, we got a little sneaky touch of these at the NAM show, but as Rabir said in a recent video, or maybe you said it, it's always nice to get back to your own studio to try stuff, because it's like Place. sleeping in your own bed. Literally. Yeah. Yes. So, um, Muse, not just a fantastic British rock band, yeah, I've never, uh, I've never really got into Muse. I must admit. I heard a tune on the, I had a tune on the radio there. I was with the wife and the kids in the car, and Knights of whatever it's called, Sidonia came on. Somebody else's wife. And I said to, kids. I said to Grace, my my eldest, who's who's into a heavy rock music. I said, this Grace is like a modern equivalent for me of um, Bohemian Rhapsody. It's got that slow That's build big, up thing. Yeah. And then it, you go into the headbanging bit when it's, what a tune, great band, and absolutely nothing to do with this range no. of guitars. <laughs> um, I think Muse is more of a, of a you know, a something muse? that inspires you. A muse is the, it's I your, was, I Chloe's my muse. Yeah, I thought it was you know, referred to as like a, a spouse of some sort. No, not I'm a spouse, gonna... it's, it's the, your muse is the, the person in your life that inspires you. Is and it to to be to be the best you? I think muse. What is the word? I, think, I mean, I think it's like a Greek. It's like a. a, a is it not like a um, a god of here we goddess go. of vocabulary dot com says muse is a verb. To muse is to consider something thoughtfully. As a noun, it means person, especially a woman who is a source of artistic inspiration. Yeah. So you're right. I thought it was like I thought it maybe it was some like a Greek. Uh, Muse You're right. In mythology, the muses were nine goddesses who symbolized the arts and sciences. Today, a muse is a person who serves as an artist's inspiration. Often, filmmakers talk about a certain actor being a muse, meaning the actor inspired a movie. Yeah. I could go on. How amusing. Um, so there we are. So I suppose these uh, guitars are supposed to inspire. Um, I mean, the colour certainly does inspire because these are colours that you've probably never seen on any Epiphone before. Um, and the colours, as far as I'm aware, I heard at NAMM that they've been taken from the 10 most popular eye shade or eye shadow. Oh, they? Something like that. Yeah, that's cool. That's where they got the inspiration. Right, look, I don't know if you saw John Mayer doing his little thing where he, he went out to buy, before he did the Silver Sky stuff, he bought colours, eye shadow colours and well, lipstick colours. Because there's so many, there's like great, so many great, cool great, colors. Great yeah, exactly. So, so this is part of Epiphone's modern collection. I mean, you may have seen in some of the other videos we've done, or if you've been reading Epiphone articles, uh, that the range Epiphone is now split into um, three kind of ranges. You've got the inspired by Gibson, but and within that you've got the modern and the um, original yeah, series. So this would be part of that modern inspired by modern Gibson. Yeah. And then you've got Epiphone original with things like Casino and Sheraton and all the guitars that were never Gibson guitars originally. So like the um, Sino and the Arch Tops and the, yeah, there's, Texans there's the... and all that kind yeah. of stuff. So look, Muse. Muse fits into the Epiphone range not only by doing these very contemporary colours, but also by making the necks a little smaller, it's like and by necks. chambering the bodies on mm -hmm. the Les Paul so they're a lot lighter, doing things like a belly cut, which yep. you wouldn't normally see on a Les Paul, or a boob cut, or a boob cut. Yes, a moob, a man boob. Because you can't now, you can't um, differentiate, so you have to. It has to be for both. So yeah, two guitars, mm -hmm. SG uh, and the Les Paul in the Muse, uh, lots of different colours, which hopefully will appear on screen yeah. now. And many, I'll give many, you some many. tones, clean tones. For that matter, because um, there's lots, there's lots of switching on here. So, in its normal full-fat humbucker mode, these are ceramic plus humbuckers, by the way. So hotter 
hotter same on, than same your on both, average right? garden variety of humbucker. <laughs> so, uh, tones, neck pickup. Does it sound like an SG? Probably does sound like an SG, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, we can coil tap. Now, if you're not familiar with that, that means we're making, instead of the uh, pickup having two coils, which is what a humbucker is, maybe on screen now, there might be a picture of a humbucker with, uh, without the cover on it. <laughs> Who knows? Um, but yes, yeah, so instead of having two, now we're just having one of those, and it sounds like this. See what I mean? That's with both. That's with one. So a whole gamut of tones, and then, if that's not enough for you, Peter. Nothing is well, ever enough of for me. Peter, um, there is the, uh, the commonly referred to as Peter Green tone, uh, which is where you have both pickups activated, but then you flip the way in which the neck pickup is wired using this control here, and it goes from this kind of fat sound to this kind of like quacky, quacky quack, quack. sound. So. that kind of vibe. And this fourth control here doesn't do anything if you pull it out. It's just, it doesn't, well, it doesn't even pull out. You just pull it uh, off. So uh, volumes, these are volumes, these are tones. It's basically an SG. If you've watched like 10 guitar videos, you've probably seen one of these done a, like a million times. Yeah, definitely. I like it. It's, um, Great it's not chambered. It doesn't really feel any lighter than a normal SG. Um, it's made of mahogany, mahogany neck, same as a normal SG. These are the tuners, sort of got these um, chrome coloured tulip sort of shaped uh, buttons on there. Is that not, a laurel fingerboard? Not locking. On there? Uh, it's laurel fingerboard, yep. The sort of environmentally friendly alternative I've to got, rosewood. I've got hardy uh, fingerboard at mine. You've got, I was waiting hey, for that. Um, anyone under the age of 90 won't uh, even know who they are. <laughs> um, so that's, that's the Muse SG, and it retails, I think, for somewhere between 350 and 400 pounds. But yeah, yes, like links below to the Anderton's website where you can find out more um, and see all the colors and get excited. But Mr. Yeah, Pete. I don't need to say anything else. This is the, this is the Les Paul version in a passion purple or something. Oh, passion purple. Something like that. Uh, they do the back and uh, neck sort of gloss black. Grover Tunis, uh, same pickups, same switching configuration as your one. Uh, it's, it's basically just run through the tones because yeah. this will be, a, I mean, Pete's running through a pretty similar amp. We've both got these mm. clean sort of victory amps, neither mm. of us using any pedals. Okay, so here's some, uh, here's some tones. That's nice. Middle position. That's quite quacky, even without the uh, the thingy pull. I can never decide. I I would say ninety percent of the time I don't like that sound, but every so I often think, somebody pulls it out with something, and it's like I think, I you, think it sounds cool. You do like. Gain there. That's, there's no such thing as a bad tone, is there? There's only what you like and what's appropriate and what works. That was the Dane into the Revival Drive Compact there. That's the middle position. And here's the bridge. A little bit of gain. Split. I 
to split the front. I wouldn't say it sounds like a, a Strat, but... <laughs> so the Les Paul, if you look at the spec, you'll see the uh, it's pretty classic Les Paul uh, timber combination. Mm -hmm. So maple top, uh, the back and the neck are Akume. Actually, is the neck Akume? I, I might reserve the right to be wrong there. Check the spec. Oh, yeah, the no, body is Akume. Akume Matata. And uh, that, I, uh, if, I, if, if my uh, timberology or whatever you call it, lumberology <laughs> is correct. <laughs> Lumberology uh, is uh, is some sort of derivative Lumbology. of mahogany, and you often yeah. see it used on guitars made in the Far East, I guess, because it's more available. It's cool. Man. Um, it's cool. I like them. Belly cut. Yeah. So really, I think these guitars are 100% aimed at someone that likes that Le that Gibson vibe. You know, likes the the shape and the vibe of a Les Paul or an SG, but wants something with a slightly narrower neck. Uh, in the in the with the Les Paul a bit lighter than you traditionally get, and yep. of course the, the the colors. It's it's a statement guitar, isn't it? It's very yeah. I wouldn't say the neck is really really super duper slim, but it's right good right there in the middle where it's yep. supposed to be. But it's definitely narrow. Yep. It's almost like Music Man. Yeah, and it's just shaved yep. off like let's say like two mils or something on each, on the side. Pete and I'll jam out now. Flip reverse for you. Uh, Pete's going to play an SG in a beautiful green color that matches his eyes, yep. uh, and I will play in this. What is this like coppery red kind yeah, of colour? Which matches your eyes. Which as well. matches my eyes uh, <laughs> when I first wake up in the morning. Um, well, cool. thank you very much for watching. Links what are below. You I like? think these are about Jangly? 400 and 400 plus 29 ish. 400 and plus 29? Yeah. Do you know what? That sounds like a maths test to I'm, me. 400 I'm, plus 29 yeah. is. How much is that? Like, this is the problem. If I asked my daughter that question, she would literally. Still, go, no still got blue. Exactly. Um, anyway.